It's date night. We're off to have some Chinese hot pot because it is winter. But first, outfit. We're at the dollar shop now. It's at the 1909 Dining Precinct here at Market City in Chinatown. This place is a dining mecca of North Asian food. There's Japanese, Korean, Chinese, of course, and even dessert as well. You know that I'm going to talk about parking and there's actually a Wilson parking in this shopping center. And if you book online, they have a night parking rate of I think, is it, was it $12 or $13? $13 there you go $13 if you drive in or 12 if you book online as long as you enter at after 5 p.m. we entered at 4 56 and I told wait hold on it's not yet 5 so we went back out did a loop came back and entered at 501 anyway we don't want to lose our table so let's go All right, we made it. We just ordered via my phone. So you scan a QR code. Previously, I'm pretty sure we ordered via an... Oh! Yes. Previously, we ordered via an iPad before, didn't we? That's what I remember. But anyway, this place gets really busy. But if you go during off-peak, so we're here, our booking was 5.15. So we got in a bit early, but it's already very busy. And I remember the first time we tried this place, we just able to walk in. So I suppose it depends on when you come in here. Thank you so much. Oh, you saw that I dropped it. You're great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing service. That's why we keep coming back to this place. We love it. But yeah, there are also times where we had to queue for a very long time. But this time around, we made a booking online. And here we are. It's very convenient. Yeah, chili's fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, half, uh, half as much. So thank you. There you go. That's fine. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> More chili than I do. I know you do. Like most Chinese hot pots, which has a communal pot, you get your own little pot here, which is great. You can do one type of soup, or you can do both. Both Wade and I are having one soup each. Wait at the spicy one and I'm trying the truffle mushroom infused broth this time. This setup is not as messy because you just deal with your own pot and you don't have to worry about people using their chopsticks in the communal pot which or filling it up with duck blood. Yeah. Or filling it up with duck blood because I ordered some duck blood. It has the most upscale vibe and interior out of all the hot pots that we go to. There are a few that we've been to but I probably keep going back to three one of them just closed, so this one is our favorite 100%. And also Hai De Lao in Chatswood, and they have one in the city as well. Most hot pots would have their own sauce station. There's no different here. You pay extra for it. I think about how much does it say in the receipt? $4.90, and you can make as many. They have their own special hot dollar sauce, which is just soy sauce, spring onion, cilantro, and chili. I usually make two, which is just soy base. I'm gonna grab my orange one, which I asked like less chili. And I got the sesame base, and they have a sesame oil, oyster sauce, and garlic one suggested as well. So I made that too, because why not?
the foodies here, some vegetables and the noodles and all the other stuff. The meat isn't here yet, so that was pretty quick. They get served pretty fast. And it's now cooking the broth. Another reason having your own pot is really great because Wei doesn't eat seafood, so I can have as much as I can and it won't bother him. The only problem is that I'll get too full too fast because obviously they don't come in half serving of seafood. We have no strategy whatsoever on <laughs> what to put in first, but basically you go in with whatever takes the longest to cook first, which is the noodles. So I'll put that in as soon as it starts boiling, but it's not yet. All right, so no wonder my broth wasn't boiling is because it wasn't turned on. Now it's finally turned on and it's starting to... No, no. But the meat is here. Oh my God, we got some pork, pork, lamb, and some beef wagyu. So the pork is also the special one. The, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, yeah, how? Korobata. Similar to what we get from our butcher. start with some noodles here oh yummy six minutes she said on those noodles hey should I just do one for now I'll just do one for now get the meat I want to start no not meat veg I wish they would cut it smaller some mushrooms so definitely don't recommend using your own hands when you're out with people but it's just way and night today so it's all good he doesn't eat quail eggs so there's a like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen of them in here and i'm gonna eat them all that's gonna be interesting <laughs> i probably won't finish it but let's see i probably would let's put four five in there straight away he also doesn't like tofu i don't understand why these are frozen tofu let's put that in let's put two in that's all mine as well and some wood eared mushroom that he would eat I hope. all right let's cook that for a bit before we put the meat in because are you the dipper type of a meat or you just we cook it hey we cook it that's just it's only a couple of seconds though some, some people just like hold it hold on to it in their chopsticks and then just dip it in i'm jealous you're already eating i can't wait for the noodles to cook first before I put it put meat I'm hungry <laughs> let's get these are the lamb check that out all oh, that fat in there and it's pretty decent size as well it's not limpy it's gotta be good let's put two in straight away so I take a couple of seconds for that to cook so this is our handmade shrimp pate we put some like celery and also the water chestnut to make it more chewy so yeah. roughly two to three minutes when you blow up you can yep. eat it yeah three minutes <laughs> i can't tell yeah. i have you can to. tell when you just put down a bit and then when you blow up and oh it's, it's good it okay yeah. right right okay thank you so much I'll just make it into a small bowl for you yep. on the side so you can maybe put that Put it in later, down. thank yeah. you. All right, that lamb should be cooked now. Probably overcooked now. Let's get that out. Ooh. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Amazing service this place, honestly. All right, that's, meat is cooked, let's eat, yummy. All right, let's start with the soy. The dollar shop, I always call it the hot dollar again, the dollar shop special sauce. Already had some. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. Now, check out this pork, you guys. It's a big slab. 
the thick bacon almost. And as Wade said, it's the kurabata, which means good, <laughs> pretty much. All right, let's add some wagyu as well. I just want to show them the marbling of this one. Oh my God, we got the premium cup as well. It's about $36. They have even better ones, 80 to like $200. A bit way too much. You can just really taste the pork meat and the fat. And here you go now, this prawn that weighed time. This is actually, the whole bowl that I showed you guys earlier is $20. Fishing it out. All right, so she said, once it floats, it floats. Like about, change its color now. Let's gonna try it. Mm, so good. Oh, that's so good. That was really good, but we're super full because hot pot is actually best enjoyed with a big group. So you can try so many different things, which makes it a bit harder where there are only two of you, especially with a picky eater like Wade. It is definitely expensive. Hot pot in general is an expensive meal anyway, but if you're a big group, you can divide up that total bill. But our total bill came up to about 200 eighty dollars roughly if i'm not mistaken so that was an expensive dinner for two but the service is just top notch in there you would have seen throughout the video how they take care of us and the quality of food is just premium but if you want to go for a slightly cheaper i would also recommend Heidi Lau in chatswood and also in the sydney cbd but the queue there is insane although you can book as well we're going to continue our date now in time zone let us know in the comments if you have any favorite chinese hot pot whatever that is in this world let us know in the comments thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you haven't subscribed yet please do and make sure that you like the video and share it with your family and friends we'll see you again next time bye